Hello everybody, this is Wowman, and today I'm going to walk you through the Fragile Kingdom building in uh, the Brookfield Zoo that I'm working on. So, first of all, we'll just start with an outdoor or outside view of this building. So, it's um, a large building that is also connected to the larger cat um, habitats. And I copied this off of the plan for this zoo and um, the actual fragile, fragile Kingdom building itself is the old lion house. And I kind of changed the shape, shape of it a little bit just to fit the needs of what I was building in the game. But I, if you look at the outside exterior of um, the building, I tried to keep the kind of classic Greek or Roman architecture that the original um, uh, lion or the yeah the original lion house uh, had and um, the actual entryway itself is also very similar to what was uh, retained of the original lion house so fragile kingdom as you saw in some of my earlier posts this is a building or an exhibit that has two different ecosystems it has the fragile rainforest and the fragile desert. And the animals housed on each side of the trail that goes through this building are animals that are familiar or common in each of those type of ecosystems. So the um, current zoo or the current setup has this with um, Two different exits or ent yeah, exits and entrances so you would go through the fragile desert actually from this side of the building that we're in right now and there's a similar entrance on the far east side of the building that would bring you into the fragile rainforest but the future master plan of the zoo had this um, all entering from this side and a loop trail going through the two different environments so, so that's how i set this up um, you know, as you see, we don't have doors that open and close for guests, so they're kind of transporting through because I wanted to get the nice looking doors on this building. Um, I'm going to go into night mode only because that is kind of what this is set up for. It, um, it's very, actually very nocturnal. Um, animals, mostly nocturnal animals in this exhibit in real life, so I kind of set it up with that same idea. So when you walk in the doors, we have a zoo staff, air, staff area. That's how they get to the backstage areas to the uh, different exhibits and habitats. And we have a restroom over here. There's a real restroom hidden behind there. And as you can see, I have to still put up a lot of the path ribbons, the do not enter ribbons, to keep some of the clipping from happening. I haven't added those into the zoo yet, but that's what I'll be doing next. As you enter into the main lobby of the building, there's a couple exhibits to the left and to the right. Um, these are populated with different either desert or tropical rainforest type um, animals. These are mostly desert in this entrance lobby. And then you get to a split in the path. So the fragile deserts to the left and the fragile rainforest is to the right. So we will go clockwise and head down this path first. So the first thing I have over here is a mole rat, naked mole rat. And this was um, um, a build I found on the workshop. Just added it in and uh, replicated it. I put, I actually hid a, um, a vending machine right here. As you see these people going, it looks like they're reading the sign, but there's actually a vending machine hidden in the rocks there to attract the people to that area. And continuing down the path, we come to the meerkat exhibit. This does have meerkat out there, so you can see them running around and all the burrows. And one of the things I, I know I pointed out in the earlier posts is I tried to use some forced perspective in here to make it feel larger than it is. So there's layered rocks. So there's like a rock layer here, a rock layer here, and then a mural lay layered in the back. And if you actually um, go up through the rocks here and back behind the rocks, this is actually a pathway 
for the keepers to get to all the exhibits. So all the way around the outside perimeter of this building are walkways for the keepers and maintenance guys. On the right side, we have, as you can see, aardvarks, but this is actually the Cape Porcupine is what's in this exhibit um, in the real zoo. So maybe one day we'll get porcupines and I'll swap them out, but I put some aardvarks in there right now just to get the, the people to stop and look in the game. And you can see this is a, an exhibit or habitat, I should say, that crosses over to both sides of the path. So you can see it whether you're on the tropical side over there or the desert side where we are currently. Going down the path further, we cross a bridge and this bridge crosses over a, or yeah, it is uh, over a canyon type area. And this is set up for the rock hydrax animal, which again is not in game, so you won't see anything running around out there. But the rock hydrax is a, a rodent type animal that likes to hop and climb on sheer rock cliffs. So, you know, the idea is he would, they would be able to climb up and around all these little ledges. And they also could pass underneath the bridge and use both sides of this exhibit. Going through the next opening, we have the Caracal. It's a, a slender desert type cat. Again, not in the game, so this is an empty faux habitat for, for my park right, or my zoo right now. But you can see it has full glass um, viewing capabilities. And this also has some skylights in it, so during the day it's more of a, a lit up, sunny desert environment. So this is about halfway through the building. There's a path crosswalk here that will take you over to the rainforest side if you so choose to cross over here, or you could continue on down this path. And next we have the bad-eared fox. And I actually put in the, what is it called? I'm trying to remember, the uh, character. I can't remember what it's called. It's <laughs> some kind of fox, but it it's basically looks very similar to the badger fox. So um, that's what I put in here. And they are right, there's a guy right there. Just looks like he went in the sprinkler and got wet. And what's kind of cool about this is back here in their den area, there is another one-way window viewing from the tropical path side. So you can see them sleeping in their, their den area. So I added that. There's a couple more um, exhibits here. And then we have a fake habitat. This is for the bush baby, which is a climbing mammal. And going inside, you know, you can see it's just very forested. And it's an empty habitat right now, or a habitat. But again, using forced perspective, layering the trees, layering the bushes, and putting murals in the background to make it appear to be a, a thick, long, deep, dense forest. Now we get into kind of the showcase animal of this building, which is the clouded leopard. So when you go up the ramp, there's this raised walkway here, and it gives you a nice view of the entire um, clouded leopard um, habitat. So there is a backstage area and, and a sleeping den for them there, a little waterfall, a bunch of rocks and logs and trees to climb on. And again, murals all the way in the back to give the appearance of a deep jungle forest. So continuing down this path, another backstage area here that they could swim into or walk into. So there's plenty of uh, private places for the animals to go if they so choose. Going back down the ramp um, into the tropical side, this is another entrance for the staff to get backstage for the exhibits that are in the middle of the building. And on the right, this is that viewing area I showed you a few minutes ago for the bad-eared fox. And 
and on the left here we have the I want to say it right the the provost or prevost squirrel. It's a very colorful squirrel, and um, again at the exhibit it's just here because um, that's what they have in the real zoo. And actually in the real zoo they have like cage tunnel like uh, what's the best way? like almost like a netted tunnel that runs all around the ceiling of the zoo and, and it, uh, they, these squirrels could run through the tunnel and run over the clouded leopards and run over some of the other exhibits and then get back into their their main exhibit area i didn't put those in here because there's really nothing in game that i could find to replicate the look and feel of those tunnels so i just excluded them a um, couple more exhibits as you come this way. Another staff entry into the back uh, area of these exhibits. And then, just real quick, here's that walkthrough where the Caracol, Caracol cat was earlier. So this is the opposite side. And here we have the fishing cat. Again, not in game, so it's just a fake empty habitat that I could put animals in at some point later. Going Further down the path, um, there's some seating, you know, some quiet areas where you could rest right here, sit amongst the tropical plants. Then we get to the, the bear cat exhibit, which yes, those are in game. So they're out there running around. You can see them climbing and hopping on the rocks. So this is where that exhibit is. And here's the other side of those porcupines slash aardvarks. Continuing back down, a couple more exhibits on the left, and we're back to the main lobby again. So that was kind of just a walkthrough tour to show you, um, you know, what the Fragile Kingdom habitat looks like. And that's it for this video, so we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.